Okay, so for this one, guys, if I want, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if I want to do this one, put it in standard form, I'll work this a little bit quick, uh, quicker, Rosalind. Remember to put it in standard form is you're going to have your exponents or our degrees go in descending order. So the first thing I do is I need to find my largest degree or exponent, which is uh, to the fifth power. So I take that whole term and I write that first. So it's negative 7x to the fifth. That's going to be my leading term, which is going to be very important for us in a second. Then what I do for standard form is you just go in descending order of the exponents. So the next largest exponent would be 4, which I don't have up here. But then the next one would be that positive 6x cubed. Then the next one is a negative 2x squared plus x to the first. And then my constant is always going to be at the end because remember, your constant can be multiplied by x to the 0, which I represented, right? You could represent your last constant like 1 times x to the 0 because x to the 0 equals 1. But we usually just don't write x to the 0 in there. Now, once you know what your leading term is, you take a look at the degree of that leading term. Remember, your degree is your, um, your exponent. So the largest exponent, or the degree of the whole polynomial, is that exponent of my leading term. So my degree is going to equal 5. And my leading coefficient, remember a coefficient is your number in front of your variable. So my leading coefficient is that number of my leading term, which is a negative. Seven. You're right. You're not. Remember, you're not trying. You're, you're right. Your degrees you rank from greatest to least, but the leading coefficient, all it is, is the coefficient of your leading term. So yes, that's a very common. A lot of students are like, well, oh, six is greater than negative seven. You're right, but we only rank them by their degrees, not by their coefficients. So once you rank them by your degrees, then whatever your leading coefficient is, that's or whatever the coefficient of your leading term is, that's going to be your leading coefficient. Make sense? Make sense? All right. It's pretty cool, huh?